Hello everyone and welcome back to Sakura Santa. I may have clicked once extra, but it's okay. Anyway, time to continue this sex capade, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I had a lot of fun though. A day with Santa turns out to be quite interesting. I've learned that magic is real, at least Christmas magic. Santa is a gifted toy maker in spite, her in spite of her clumsiness. The size of her family is still amazing. But I guess it makes sense in retrospect. I mean, there's no way only one Santa handles everything, right? If, Even if they had elves, there'd be no way he could deliver it all by himself. So apparently he uh, made sure there were enough Santas to keep up. I wonder what Christmas dinner is like when they all have the same name in the same room. Hey Santa, could you pass the gravy? But the one in the most interested is a cute clumsy girl I found. I want to learn all about her. But when will she turn up again? There's still plenty of time until Christmas, so I wonder. I just have to think about it. Mm. You know what? Um, I'll visit the shrine. Well, yeah, I'll visit the shrine. Akina, right? I think I'll visit her. She said she was off in the spirit realm yesterday, but that she wanted a date. It's a little sudden, but yeah, I'll accept. So no reason not to leave now. Ooh, that took a while. Feels like the path was a, l a bit longer this time, but surely it didn't actually grow, right? The priest hobbles out to greet me. Oh, good to see you again. Akina told me about you. You knew about her? Of course, it's my business to know her. Though normally I don't have people flirting with the spirit of this shrine. Um, visitors are rare, huh? Yes, even so, this is the first time I've seen her take such an interest in someone. You must be a truly kind soul. Uh, nothing special. <laughs> you said that yesterday, and yet... Well, I'll not keep you any longer. Akina, the spirit of the shrine, come forth, your date is here. <laughs> I'll summon you for booty call. <laughs> A loud thump echoes from the shrine. Akina bounces out, her eyes sparkling. Great, Koji, you're here. We're going to have a lot of fun together, eager to say the least. Please make sure that you come back soon, Akina. The way the priest talks to her is most, most fatherly. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Before long, we're already walking back through the forest. Huh? It looks like the space here got warped. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, just a work-related thing. You shouldn't worry about it. Just think about today. Thinking about today reminds me of a long walk down the... Yeah. I guess the forest really did grow bigger. Well, she doesn't seem worried. So I guess I shouldn't be either. Now, I just want to ask her questions, though. Aren't there rules or anything for a spirit who leaves their shrine? Isn't she kind of abandoning her job to go out with me? It's fine. I just had to finish... Up work before I could go on a holiday. After all, it's Christmas. You celebrate Christmas in the spirit realm? Well, no, but I heard people talking about it at the shrine. I haven't been out for a long time. No wonder she's so excited, but are you okay with this? I mean, just going right to a date? She grabs me by the arm and rubs her chest against it. Whoa. Why wouldn't I be? I know you aren't a bad person. The only people who, or the people who are kind when they think no one else is looking at the best kind of people. I was just, it was just you and the priest, and you chose to help him. I mean, isn't that the right thing to do? I don't need to be rewarded. There's no need to be shy about it, Koji. You did a good thing. Oh, look, we're in the city now. Are we going lingerie shop? Is that where we're going, you... Okay. As we enter downtown, our eyes manage to shine even brighter, reflecting all the lights of the city. All the decorations are beautiful. She's really admiring the stores, lined with so many colorful lights and more. It's like I'm with a kid that's seeing everything for the first time. What's this? What's that? Look! Koji, I can barely believe my eyes. It looks like she can barely contain her excitement, too. This place has grown so big in only a few years. Um, it's been that long? 
Yes, I mean, I spend most of my time on my work. So how are you walking around without everyone seeing your fox parts? Easy, I don't let them see them. So you just don't give your permission? Exactly. I have no idea how that's supposed to work, but obviously it's not human. Suddenly your attention is snared by another store. What do they sell there, Koji? She points towards it with her ears perked attentively. It's probably just another... Then I turn to actually see it. Nothing. They, they don't sell anything there. Nothing? They must sell something. How else would they stay in business? Uh, it's uh, nothing you'd be interested in, really. How would I know if I don't have a look? Let's just not go in there, okay? Here is Droop again. I feel like I kicked a puppy. Well, if Koji doesn't want... Fine, let's just go. I'd feel manipulated, but... I'm pretty sure the only one doing it is me, to myself. I can't resist that face. Really? It's okay? Yes, let's just go before I get second thoughts again, okay? She practically drags me into the building. Yay! Let's go! I want to see everything! As we enter the shop, a small shriver of dread goes down my spine. Aha! I knew it! I called it! Stupid fox spirit! Akini's expression is puzzled to say the least. Um, what is the nothing they se that they sell here, Koji? It's it's a lingerie shop. Uh, what is that? Why did I get picked to be a tour guide to Lady Under Things? It's something you wear under your clothes. Oh, it's not supposed to feel cold under this kimono? Are you going commando? You mean you're not wearing any underwear? No? Is that weird? Very much so. Suddenly my thoughts are captured by the image of a breeze coming by and... Welcome out on the town with your boyfriend? The shop attendant suddenly comes into view. That's right. Wait, when did I become her boyfriend? So what side of you do you want your boyfriend to see? Something wild, dark, innocent? Akini just tilts her head to the side. I don't really know yet. Well, let's just try things on and see what you like. I can tell you all about the mo what's most popular right now. I feel awkward to say the least. But I did agree to go on a date with Akina, right? Yeah, yeah, tell me about everything new. Alright, I promise you it'll be cute, or sexy, depending. They wander off deeper into the shop. It leaves me to wander around. It feels like everyone's staring at me. I probably look like some kind of weirdo. The attendant comes back, fortunately. Would you like to come with us to the dressing room? Uh, sure. She's really straightforward, but I guess she does this all the time. Don't worry, I take my boyfriend laundry shopping all the time. It's no big deal. Yeah, thanks. I don't exactly feel reassured. But it isn't like Akina is far. When I get there, she's still inside. It leaves me waiting awkwardly still for a couple minutes. Her eyes shine like they ever, like they ever do when she steps out, smiling brightly when she sees me. Did you uh, find something you like? And she grabs the edge of her kimono. Mmm. Plot! <laughs> Lifting it up, she shows me her pink panties held on by barely there straps marked by a cute bow. These ones, Koji! <laughs> What do you think? I'm totally dumbfounded. My mouth feels like it's full of cotton. People surely must be whispering about this. This can't be normal. What are you doing? You can't just flush your panties at people. Why not? Aren't they good? My eyes are inevitably drawn to the panties again. They cover much less than I expected. Th that's not the problem. Aw, I was sure these were your type. It's not that I don't dislike them. It's just you can't flush your panties in public like that. Huh? Aren't you supposed to show them to your boyfriend and these things? Not on the first date! Oh, I know. I should loosen them up, loosen them up a little. Huh? With agonizing... Ugh. With agonizing slowness, she begins to tug at the straps. And then the sh straps begin to slip down, down, down. Underwear is ancient. There's no way you don't know what panties are. Hehe, <laughs> you got me there. Still, I really didn't want to know what you like. So, do you like the like them, pink and cute, or maybe dark and lacy? How do you prefer a girl to wear them? She gets curious, I'll give her that. How about like this? 
She suddenly pulls the straps, making the fabric outline the shape of her. It's almost like I can feel the blue. Feel the what? Then she just... Then she stares, just drilling into my spine. Enough, you've had your fun. Enough of what? She lets go of the straps and snaps back into place. You cheeky fox. But no, seriously, do you like them? I force myself to look down over my embarrassment. I, uh, I think they look good on you. Her eyes seem like they really are gold when I say that. Wonderful, thank you, Koji. Right, this is how I'll get out of this. She'll be satisfied once she finds a purchase, right? Then they do look good on her, besides... Now, let me try on the next one. I've got ten more that I want to try on. Then the shopping attendant said, so much for that. I suppose what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Eventually, she settles on that pair of panties. I lost track of the number of shops we visit, but then we take a break in the park. I guess being a fox spirit, well, pays well because these shopping bags are pretty, getting pretty heavy. You know, Koji? Yeah? I wasn't kidding. I wasn't wearing any underwear. Does she just enjoy the breeze then? I guess she doesn't have any sense of modesty. So, you know what panties are, you just, but you don't wear them? Right. It's much more comfy without them. Then why'd you buy them now? Because you said you liked them. Her ears begin to falter again. Oh no. Maybe, maybe you're just saying that. Tell me the truth, Koji. How do they look? I wasn't lying. I really did like them. How did I get to talking with that fox spirit about modern underwear again? If I were in high school, I wouldn't be able to speak for all the embarrassment. I'm not sure how well I'm doing now either, but I guess I can still talk? Good, I'm glad, Koji. It still seems kind of weird for me for a first date. Dates are supposed to be fun. Buying panties is fun. I guess you're right. Though I'm not sure how much fun on or or, or for who. What sort of place does this does she come from? Hey, Akina, are you really a spirit? Of course, see this tail? He flits from side to side. I mean, it could just be a costume prop. Oh, of course. Can I touch it? Her eyes widen in shock. Touch my tail? No, I, I can't. The, tang the tail seems to be twitching all over the place. My tail, it's... It's... What about your tail? It's sensitive. I've actually found something she's shy about. It might be the only thing. A little while ago you were flashing me and probably the rest of the store. Now you're embarrassed over your tail? You don't understand. My tail is sensitive. It, it's, it's like, it's way different. It's sensitive in a erotic way. Oh, so what about your ears? Koji! You pervert! If her ears and tail are really only visible to those who give permission, I can only imagine what this would sound like if... like to anyone who walks by. They think we're crazy or worse. So you're okay with flashing people you just met but no one can touch your fox parts? Yes, exactly! I'd only let someone I know really, 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 really well touch them. Wow, I'd never imagine. I guess that makes sense. Well, I didn't mean to pry, so sorry. I mean, I might consider letting you. Her voice grew fainter and fainter until it was almost like an exhale. I'm not sure if she meant for me to hear it. Well, we can wait, right? There's always another time. I still don't know if she's real or not. It doesn't matter, though. She's still a girl either way. A cute one at that. Thank you, Koji. I know it's kind of strange for a human to date a, date a fox spirit, but I'm telling you the truth. Her ears pick up from the droop. I feel like the relief ra radiating off of her. It's 100% genuine Akina. No fabrications except for the panties. Anyway, I had a wonderful time today, Koji. Come visit again sometime? I'll see you as soon as you come. Sure, I mean, I can't let the old man do everything himself, can I? Kina laughs. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him. Just feels awkward just standing there. Would you like to walk back to the shrine together? 
Her tail swishes happily as she smiles. Thank you, Koji. Hey, now it is night time. I can't believe that cheeky fox. She knew what panties were the whole time. I actually wonder what the tail, where that tail starts exactly. Would it affect what underwear she can put on? Depending on how big the base is, that uh, it would make some some of them awkward. <clears throat> I got a good look at it though, and it didn't seem like it was affected. Of course, with that pair of panties, there's barely anything to get in the way of. <coughs> you cheeky fox! You look deep in thought, Koji. Huh? I turn around to see the front doors unlocked and open. So, I have a stalker. Nice. Not a stalker, just a friend who let herself in. I want to spend more time with you, Koji. We spent an, an entire day out on a date, and now she wants, just, wants even more time? I guess it's nice to have some company. Christmas decorations. Very nice. They're really well done, too. I had some help with them. Oh, from who? A friend I made when I was out for a walk. I know she's a fox spirit, but would you believe me if I said Santa Claus? Uh, one Santa Claus at least? I'm glad you made a friend, Koji. You're getting to be pretty popular. She popped down on my couch. Ah, so soft. This feels good. The shrine only has traditional furniture, but this kind of furniture is also nice. She spreads herself out across the couch. Akina. She doesn't seem to care about how much her kimono covers. Nice to see you're wearing the panties I bought. It's not my fault I can't control your eyes, Koji. Considering what happened today, I'm almost certain that she's doing this on purpose. Christmas is only a few days away, isn't it? Yeah. The days pass so quickly, holidays are no exception. What are you doing for Christmas, Koji? I'm not sure yet. I probably won't be doing anything. Maybe I could spend it with you? It depends on whether or not I'll be busy this Christmas. Busy? Oh, right. Commitments to the spirit world. That's right. It's unfortunate, but someone has to do it. Christmas makes for a lot of turmoil in the, in the spirit realm. So we'll see what happens. Alright, even if we don't get together on Christmas, there's an entire rest of the year. That's true. A moment of sorrow flashes across her face. Akina, is something wrong? It's nothing, Koji. Anyway, I like your apartment. The couch is so soft, too. I can still see your panties, you know. Have some shame, you cheeky fox. Hey, who's the one that keeps looking at my panties? Maybe you prefer it if they weren't there, Koji? Well, it'd be a nice view to say the least. Anyway, I need to get back to the shrine now. Thank you for inviting me to your home, Koji. You mean thank you for not kicking me out when I broke in? Close enough. See you later, Koji. She bolts out the door in a flash. At least let me say goodbye. And that wraps up this one. So thanks everyone for watching. And I will see you in the next one.